So today I'm talking about a P0014 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0014 code? Well, it's a B camshaft position, timing over advanced or system performance bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically engines have different timing components. The engine's gonna have a timing belt or timing chain that's gonna have timing marks to keep the camshafts and the crankshaft all aligned. There's also going to be a camshaft position sensor and a crankshaft position sensor that's monitoring everything as it spins and reporting this information back to the computer. And most modern cars are going to have what's called variable valve timing, which basically allows the computer to adjust the timing as the engine's running. And the variable valve timing is a really good system. It can improve gas mileage. It can improve power at different RPMs and things along these lines. But when you get this P0014 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem going on here, that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing of the engine. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And the B camshaft is going to point to the exhaust camshaft. So A camshaft is going to be the intake and the B camshaft is going to be the exhaust. If you have a four cylinder engine, then you're only going to have one bank and the camshaft B is going to be on the exhaust side. If you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine is going to have two banks. Then bank one is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you Google your engine and like firing order or cylinder location or something like that, since there is differences, and you find the number one cylinder on your engine, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one, and the exhaust camshaft is going to be the one that the computer is seeing a problem with. With dual overhead cam engines, there's going to be two camshafts on each bank of the engine. So you can have the intake cam, which is camshaft A, and then you'll have the exhaust cam, which is camshaft B. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0014 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. Engine oil is flowing through all the variable valve timing components. It flows through the solenoids and the actuator and different things like this. And so if the engine oil is low or really dirty, then it could throw all those components off and that could cause issues. And so the first thing to go and do is check your engine oil and be sure it's not low and be sure it's not really dirty. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad variable valve timing solenoid. If something's gone wrong with that variable valve timing solenoid on bank one, camshaft B, then that's going to cause problems. If you have a multimeter, you can go and test that solenoid. It's all these solenoids are going to have a rated ohms that they're supposed to be at. So if you have a multimeter, you can go look up what the rated ohms are for your particular vehicle on those variable valve timing solenoids. And then you check to see if they fall inside that range. And if they don't fall inside that range, you know it's bad. Also, if it's open, you know it's bad. So you can't use a multimeter to go and test it. There's some good YouTube videos on that. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad variable valve timing actuator, sometimes called the phaser. Basically, the timing chain or timing belt right on top of the actuator. And this is where the timing gets adjusted from oil pressure coming from that variable valve timing solenoid. And so if there's an issue going on with that variable valve timing actuator, then that can cause problems. So the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of issue going on with that actuator. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or a timing belt, or there's some kind of issue going on there. And basically, these timing belts or timing chains, they're all going to have timing marks. And all these timing marks, they all need to line up. And if they don't line up, then that can throw everything off. That can cause issues. Also, as the timing belt or timing chain get old, they can get stretched out, which can throw everything off and cause problems. There's also going to be a tensioner that holds everything tight. Sometimes these tensioners, they can go bad, and they're not holding everything tight no more. So everything's loose, throwing everything off. So the next thing on the list can be a bad timing chain or timing belt. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And basically, if that camshaft position sensor on bank one, camshaft B, has gone bad, it might be reporting bad information back to the computer. Although usually when a camshaft position sensor goes bad, you'll get other codes like bad camshaft position sensor codes and things like this. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. And the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. Basically, keep in mind that if there's any kind of wiring problem going to any of those variable valve timing solenoids, going to the camshaft position sensor, or anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0014 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.